For at TV, the world is thinking. We could uh, argue that there is something new about the new economy that creates inexorable forces that make for a more uh, unequal society. And I simply don't think that's the case. Uh, I think this is uh, not the result of natural economic forces. Uh, it's a failure of politics. And I want to give you one example that I'm particularly interested in, and, and that has to do with good jobs. Um, suppose we had a national commitment that uh, all human service jobs shall be good jobs. All of the jobs taking care of our parents and our children and our children's children, taking care of uh, the young, the sick, and the old, uh, working in nursing homes, or working in home care, uh, providing high quality child development oriented uh, uh, pre-K and child care. Uh, well, in Western Europe, particularly in the Nordic countries, uh, there are national policies that none of these are $7 an hour, 200% a year turnover, um, untrained, unprofessional jobs. Uh, they're all at least paraprofessional jobs leading to professional jobs or their uh, professions. And uh, all this takes is a national commitment that this shall be public policy. It would take a quantum leap in social spending and a national commitment to turn these into good jobs. But how wonderful it would be for our kids and our parents if we had such a commitment. It would not only create good jobs, but it would create a better quality of life and better quality public services. Why don't we do this? Well, we don't do this because uh, one party um, has uh, systematically now, over the period of 27 years, uh, used uh, tax reductions to undermine the ability of the government to spend money. And about half of the other party has become wedded to budget balance as a goal for its own sake at the expense of social investment. This is uh, a failure of politics, uh, pure and simple. And you could have on the order of 10 million good jobs that could not be exported. Most of these jobs can't be, uh, can't be shipped overseas because they have to be close to the client. And of course, you could do the same thing with energy independence, where uh, a domestic uh, green uh, energy industry would not only help our balance of trade and help uh, ameliorate global climate change, but could produce uh, millions and millions of good jobs. Uh, again, we, we don't do this uh, not because of something inherent about the new economy, but because of failures of political imagination and uh, political leadership. Uh, my wife, Joan Fitzgerald, who used to teach here, who actually knows a lot more about this than I do, uh, visited Scandinavia last year, and uh, the, the, the difference in policies there and here are just staggering. Uh, we visited a, a section of Stockholm called Hammerby Schostadt, which is a, a new town in Stockholm uh, where the, the, the carbon footprint is, is less than zero. Uh, there are no garbage trucks. Uh, everything is sucked into pipes that go underneath the apartment buildings, and uh, the waste products are used either uh, to create um, uh, energy uh, in, um, in um, uh, electric power plants, uh, or they're used for composting, or they're uh, recycled into other usable materials. And, uh, you know, I remember when Michael Dukakis ran for uh, president, uh, the joke was that his idea of light vacation reading with Swedish land use planning, well, that wasn't such a bad idea. <laughs> There's a lot to be learned. And in Denmark, uh, which has the lowest unemployment rate uh, of any advanced country and uh, the most egalitarian income structure, uh, they have a national policy called flex security. And the idea is that um, if you lose a job, you're going to be trained for a better job. And here is a statistic that just knocked my socks off. Uh, they spend 4.5 percent of GDP uh, on active labor market policies. If you translate that to the scale of the American economy, that would be $600 billion a year. And uh, we spend uh, about 0 0.25, most of it on time-limited unemployment comp uh, that most people don't even qualify for that pays 30 to 35 percent uh, of lost wages. And um, uh, Scandinavia has had almost no deterioration in the income distribution over the past 30 years, uh, even though these countries 
uh, are subject to exactly the same kind of technological trends, exactly the same shift from manufacturing to services, uh, exactly the same pressures of globalization, because they have chosen uh, a different policy path. And I have a piece coming out in a couple of weeks in Foreign Affairs, if you want to read more about this, uh, called uh, Reading Adam Smith in Copenhagen, uh, a takeoff on reading Lolita in Tehran, uh, pointing out that you can have a, a, a very dynamic market economy on the one hand that is also a socially just society on the other hand uh, if you have uh, the right public policies.